so dark this direction, isn't it? I set the camera on some boxes I'm taking to the post office. And that's my window. But I originally had this other plan to do this and then call somebody down because we're going for an RIDE. But um, Fred called to talk to him and then she got all pouty and wanted me to pick her up. So now this is what I have on my desk. Yeah, the baby. She just wants to sit here. Although I gotta go mail those two packages today. S Jam, there's your package. It's going in the mail. There's the one for Germany. I'm scared on how much postage it's gonna be, but I'll just do it. And there's my messy desk, people. It's so flippin' messy. I have boxes of stuff here yet for Christmas and stuff. And 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 there's a there's all kinds of crap. Okay, let's go over here. Where's the finger pointing finger? There's my mint balls from Diana back there in a the corner. This little blue tin I got from um, Peggy in a Wackadoodle Free Zone with candies in it, but now it holds um, my monies. This is a coffee cup from Germany filled with uh, keychains. Uh, there's my stamps, some of my stamp books. Ooh. Uh, a magnet from Canada. The printer, monitor, junk explosion. This actually sets up here, but since I've got my cords out, they've pushed all over. But um, this is just junk. There's Girl Kitty. There's my box I got from San Diego from Tracy Ray. There's still a few things in it. My Nutcracker is still out. Diana C. Nutcracker. Round Coke, which I drank. SJ made me do it. Um. Oh, aren't you cute? Now shall we ask her a question? Hi, do you want to go for a ride? Do you want to go for a ride? Do you? Do you want to go? Is that... Is that in your... Do you like going for rides? Huh? Do you? Yeah. Oh, you want to go now. Oh, don't jump down. Okay, let's turn the camera back around and go back to my normal... Oh, yay. I know. I've said it now, people. She's ready. Come on. Oh, oh, there you go. Yes, she's the baby. So I'm getting ready to go into the world, and I'm going to take her with me. And she's going to go right behind me and watch, watch what she does. She's going to jump right in the middle. Now she's stuck between me and the back of the chair. I don't understand why she does that. But she does. Um, i got to shove all these cords back. God, it's a mess. Um, I might even take my little camera with me. I don't know what I'll film or if I film or what, but I'll have it just in case. And um, what else do I got? Last night, my friend Christy called me from Tennessee. She used to live up here, and she's been my best friend since we were like, oh, young. She used to live like a block behind me. And um, I used to drive my lawn tractor over to their house and she'd get out her dad's lawn tractor and we'd like have lawn tractor races. And we'd race him forward and then we'd race going backwards. It was fun. And we'd go out to the pine trees behind my house and we'd make little trails in there in the winter time and we'd shake the trees and all the snow would fall. And um, we just grew up together. And then, um, you know, I was there when both of her kids were born. She's the one that I, I've seen both the birth of both of her kids. And she's like, when I was talking to her yesterday, she goes, you need to come down here. Because her daughter's getting ready to give birth any day now. And she's scared. She's 17. And um, she's really scared. Asking questions, you know, uh, how is it going to hurt? What, what what do I do? Blah, blah, blah. And what happens if it won't come out? And just question upon question. And Christy's like, she's real scared. And... She's like, it ain't right that you're not going to be here. You've seen her being born. Now you need to see her give birth. So, it's just crazy. It's crazy that my friend's going to be a grandma. And I'm older than her by five months. Because she had Jasmine when she was 18. And now her daughter's having a kid as a teenager. His name's going to be Royley. R-O-Y-L-E-E. -E. Royley Jean. And it's 
Jean as in J-E-N-E. -E. So they might call him RJ. But everything's ready for him, apparently. His due date is the 25th of January. He's uh, big and healthy. Uh, they're just waiting, waiting for it to pop. So that was fun. I talked to her like an hour last night. So I told her I might be coming down her way in October and stopping by to say, hey, I'm on my way to South too because it's right on the way. And uh, But they're coming up here in March with the baby. I'll definitely take some film of the baby. I haven't got to hold a baby in like forever. The little cuteness. Yeah. Um, fiddling with stuff on my desk. Oh, uh, what else can I say real quick before I go? Stayed up too late last night, but it was fun. I talked to uh, the Smiths for a little bit in Stacam, and uh, Lord Largo was in Stacam for. I talked to him for like what, and then I went down to my room and watched TV for like a couple hours. So I don't remember what time I finally fell asleep. I finally just went, Stacy, you've got to go to sleep. Then I woke up to a howling dog. I wonder who that was. Because mom and dad have left. And um, she was sad. And then when I come up here, she's fine. She falls asleep. She just don't like being up here by herself. All right, yeah, yeah, That's enough. Now I'm going. I need to go to the post office. And we're going to probably stop for lunch. And then I'll be back later. So... Ta-ta!